Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. My name is David and I do magic reviews. I mean, in a nutshell, that's, that's really what I do. I do magic reviews every single day. Every day. Uh, well, except for the days that I do contests where I give stuff away. And uh, I also do uh, deck reviews, playing cards, right? I also do game reviews. Did you know that? I review board games, card games. Uh, I love card games. I love collectible card games. I play Magic the Gathering and I also play Pokemon. Uh, I've even done a how to play Pokemon uh, video on this channel. And so um, Michael O'Brien, who's half of Deuce Gala, uh, is also a big fan of Pokemon, like myself. We're both uh, fellow Irishmen. We're both uh, fellow employees of the Disneyland. He's, st he's still employed there. I, I am no longer. But uh, he and I both share that in common, uh, those, those things in common. And uh, Deuce Gala has released a brand new effect called Poke Wild. Poke Wild. And uh, what is it? Well, it's wild card. It is a wild card effect with Pokemon cards. And I could not be more excited. If you don't know what wild card is, wild card can be done a couple different ways. Uh, sometimes you show a bunch of cards that are blank, right? And then you bring out a, a, a regular card, like say the seven of hearts. And as you touch the seven of hearts to the blank cards, they all become seven of hearts. Well, in this version, uh, which is a in the hands version, standing version, you don't need a table. Uh, you can do this with one spectator or two. Um, you show Pokemon cards and, and, you, and you have a smattering <laughs> of the standards. You have a trainer card, you have an energy card, you have a couple uh, creature cards. And then of course there's the elusive foil card, right? And uh, you get a Pokemon card that's a foil card. Uh, it comes in two versions. You can get the Pikachu version or the Charizard version. Uh, we'll talk about both and why they're uh, different prices. And then you say, well, every kid wants the hologram card. You know, no kid wants energy cards. No kid wants the trainer cards. They really want the holograms. And so what you do is you touch the hologram to the other cards in your hand. And as you bring the cards together, all the cards magically become hologram cards. And then at the end, you have eight hologram cards, all the same in your hands, either Pikachu or Charizard. Okay, so that's, that's the trick in a nutshell. So let's say you head down to DeuceGala.com and you purchase Poke Wild. You will either get the silver box, which has Pikachu, or the gold box, which has Charizard. And you'll get the cards inside. You'll get the routine from Michael Blomicky. He's the creator of this. However, uh, Michael O'Brien is your teacher. He's your instructional video person. You will also get a download video, which is 22 minutes long. And that'll teach you the entire routine. We'll talk more about that. You'll get a two page PDF, which has all the pattern. And, and so you get that all as written out. You'll get a commentary video, which is 11 minutes long, where they just do a behind the scenes. And then there's a double backer bonus, which is 12 minutes. So they're gonna give you a double backer as well. Okay, and it's a real double backer. Okay, let me just say, these cards were um, purchased. They are real Pokemon cards. Okay, not reprints. They were purchased. They were split and they were glued back together. So that, if you don't know, that kind of work takes time and work. So they're legit Pokemon cards. It's going to feel a little stiff. It's going to feel a little thicker than a standard Pokemon card, but graphics wise, it's the same, same color. That's the thing you would be worried about the most is that a reprint wouldn't have the same color. The graphics would be a little different. And so this is going to blend seamlessly in with your Pokemon cards and gives you a double backer so that you can do all the double backer tricks. Uh, and, and Michael's going to give you a ton of ideas in that 12 minutes. So <laughs> you, you want to know what it costs, right? Let me, let me tell you what it costs. Okay. So for the Pikachu version, it is $150. Hold on <laughs> for the Charizard version. It is $250. All right, so let's talk about price. Okay, let's talk about price and kind of ease your, ease your mind, help you out with that. Um, why are they so expensive? 
if it's just eight cards, why is it so expensive? Let me tell you. Um, like I said earlier, these are real cards. These are real Pokemon cards. Um, if we're just gonna use the Pokemon uh, Pikachu as in our, our example, okay? This card right here, the foil, the foil Pokemon Pikachu, right? This is a $10 card, 10 bucks. And so Michael and uh, Michael <laughs> had to source all these cards, right? They had to source all of them. And so just to get you a, nine cards that were all this, right? That's 10 bucks a piece, that's $90 right? That's 90 bucks just to get you the cards, just, just so they could get the cards themselves. That was 90 bucks. Then they got to split them, glue them together, repackage it and sell it to you. So at the end of the day, yeah, this is a $150 trick. All right. What about the Charizard cards? What about these? Uh, this is a different story. Okay. With the Charizard cards, uh, this card could be sourced. It could be, However, these are Gen 1 uh, hologram cards, which means if you had this Charizard card in your collection, it would be worth $10,000. So that means these are not real, <laughs> right? These are, not, these are not real cards. But that means that uh, Deuce Gala had to have these printed. So they had to find a printer. They could emulate the color backing and everything, the feel, and do the and do that foil, right? They had to be able to do that chrome kind of foil printing in the background. So that was expensive. So they had to source a printer to make these cards and then do a really small print run, which is also expensive. So the Charizard set is $250, which is why they're also throwing in the double backer for you and giving you a, a video where you can do some double backer tricks. So that's, that's the reason behind the expense. The video is 22 minutes. You're gonna get live performances with real life people. Uh, he talks about what you get. He does a setup. Um, he does the routine very slowly for you. Then he does the routine at pace. And then he has some over the shoulder shots to music so you can see the whole thing. Um, pocket space, it's only the nine cards. There's no other cards. You can stick all of them in a little wallet. Uh, Michael's suggestion is to stick them into a Pokemon uh, foil pack. You know, just buy a foil pack, zip it, you know, cut the top off of it, slide your gimmicks inside of a Pokemon foil pack. It'll, it'll be great. Uh, angles wise and inspectability, they can't be inspected because they're gimmicks. Uh, there's a couple points in the routine where you can hand cards out, say here, hold these, hold these, and that can count as inspectability, but to be able to hand all nine cards to them, no, you couldn't do that. Um, I do a really simple move at the end of my trick where I just show them all from the face close it up and then flash the back to show the back. So it's something really easy to do and uh, it, it could pass muster. Plus, who's gonna suspect that you have gimmicked Pokemon cards, right? I mean, these do not exist in the real world except for right here. You have the only gimmicked Pokemon cards in the world. So I don't know that they'd even be, even be suspect. Uh, slice and difficulty, it's a very easy trick to learn. Um, I've had it for a week or so, maybe two weeks, and I've been going over the routine for the past three days, and I'm, I'm just now getting to where all the moves feel seamless and I can perform it. So yeah, it's easy. And as far as setup and reset, it's a small stack. It's like nine cards. Um, positives, uh, this is something I've been waiting for forever and, because literally now you can do a card trick for people of all ages and they understand. They understand. They understand Pokemon cards. They understand foil cards. They understand the trainer cards and the energy, right? And you're able to easily make a routine. And I think this is so much more, you get, you get so much more buy-in from your spectator because they're, they're invested. Like they probably have Pokemon cards at home or if they're older, you know, in their twenties or thirties, they probably collected Pokemon when they were younger. So they know what these cards are and they know about the foil cards. They get it. Whereas if you're doing this, you know, with, you know, a six of hearts or a king of diamonds, I mean, it's just, it's just, then it's just a card trick. Turning it into Pokemon cards makes it more than a card trick, right? So super duper cool. Um, negatives, you kind of have to break the cards in a little bit. The, you know, when you make double backers, they tend to be a little stiff when you make them by hand. Um, just to get the cards to have some action and, and do what I want them to do. I had to kind of like 
play with them a lot. They, had, they, they felt rigid when I first got them. And moving between the two sets, whether it's the Pokemon card or, or, or sorry, more the Pikachu cards or the Charizard cards, the cards themselves have a little bit of a different feel. So I kind of have to treat either stack a little differently. But it's, you know, it's, it's not hard. As far as it being worth your money, that is going to be up to you. <laughs> that is going to be up to you. They didn't make very many sets. They didn't make very many sets because they knew this would be something that only a small handful of people would want. And because of the cost in sourcing all the materials, you know, it made it that much more, you know, difficult. So this is, this is something exclusive that only a small amount of people will purchase and, and or want. And I feel very lucky, very lucky that I was chosen uh, to get these. I will definitely hold on to these forever and I will use them until they are worn out because I love this routine. Um, I'm not a table guy. I don't ever stop and sit down at tables and say, all right, let's, let's do a trick. I, I love to do tricks standing. And so this, this fits me perfectly, perfectly. My kids are into Pokemon, their friends are into Pokemon. So again, this fits me perfectly. I love I love Poke Wild. So head on down to deucegala.com. Big huge thanks to Michael and Michael for allowing me to have this so I could do the review for you. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, hey, and one more thing. Uh, one more thing. I know you've seen me in my videos wear this shirt a lot, the, the Magic Orthodoxy brand shirt. And I don't know if you know this, but this is not just a merch shirt. This is not just a shirt that has my brand. This is actually a magic trick. This is a magic reveal t-shirt that is available exclusively at my Teespring store. It was actually designed in Melbourne, Australia, and it is your 30-minute secret weapon because it looks like a seemingly innocent vintage tea, but all over this are six different magic reveals. So you got ESP reveals, coins, cards, the toxic forces on here, even a movie, and a lot more. You can use this as the grand finale of your entire close-up act. It's available in maroon, black, and gray. And I have another YouTube video that completely explains how to do a reveal for each one of these tricks. So I actually have a magic tutorial for this t-shirt on my channel. So it's, it's there. It tells you all about it if you want to learn more. Uh, or you can just go down to any one of the graphics that are down there. That'll take you out to the Teespring store if you click one of those. And thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for all your support.